Simmons College of Kentucky presents The Angela Project 2017. What is The Angela Project? The Angela Project is named after the first enslaved African to step foot on American soil. Records reveal that Angela was a Christian woman stolen from Angola in 1619. The Angela Project Conference will consist of open and honest conversations about slavery and the lingering repercussions that continue to hinder blacks today with discriminatory practices historically built into our legal, economic, cultural, and religious institutions. The Angela Project is a three-year comprehensive program to create awareness of our individual and collective responsibility to advocate for reparative justice leading up to the 400th anniversary of slavery in America with the bold goal of setting the nation's agenda for the next 400 years. Based on the work of the Truth and Reconciliation Panels in South Africa that helped end apartheid, our task is to change the trajectory of race relations in America and public policy towards social justice. Churches first taught the nation how to divide over slavery. Now, be a part of churches across the nation teaching the nation to unite over justice. Four national organizations with over six million constituents coming together to tackle the marvelous challenge of true racial harmony and justice. Simmons College of Kentucky, America's 107th HBCU in conjunction with the National Baptist Convention of America International, the Progressive National Baptist Convention, and the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship will come together for this year's focus of addressing public policy and the educational crisis in black America. Make plans now to be a part of the Angela Project 2017, Monday, September 11th in Louisville, Kentucky at the opening session of the National Baptist Convention of America International annual conference featuring writer and founder of Breaking Brown, Yvette Carnell, radio host and professor at Morgan State University, Dr. Jared Ball, attorney and Emmy-nominated film producer Antonio Moore, author and anti-racism activist Tim Wise, and plenary speaker, President Emeritus of Morehouse College, Dr. Robert Franklin. Come see and hear advocates for our families, schools, businesses, and churches. It all happens Monday, September 11th at the Galt House in Louisville, Kentucky, sponsored by Simmons College of Kentucky. For more information, find us on Eventbrite or call us at 502-776-1443. Hello and welcome to the 153rd Annual Session. Greetings to the moderators, staff, members, and friends of the General Association of Baptists in Kentucky. Let's take a look at upcoming events at Simmons College of Kentucky. Join us Wednesday, August 2nd at noon for the West Louisville Forum as we celebrate our first year anniversary. The topic, what every white church can learn from the black church. With Empower West guest speakers, Reverend Erica Whitaker, Senior Pastor of Butcher Baptist, Reverend Joe Phelps, Senior Pastor of Highland Baptist, and Reverend Chris Caldwell, former pastor of Broadway Baptist and the current Dean of the Sociology Department at Simmons. It's the West Louisville Forum, Solutions for Urban America, specifically designed to explore and offer practical solutions to issues facing West Louisville and urban America at large. For more information, find us on Eventbrite or call Simmons at 502-776-1443. In June, Simmons College of Kentucky held a dedication service for three new residential buildings for students. The buildings were dedicated in honor of preeminent African-American pediatrician, Dr. Beverly Gaines, entrepreneur and supporter of black education, Mr. Charlie Johnson, and past Simmons president and dean, the late Dr. J.R. Sams. Simmons is proud to announce its partnership with the National Baptist Convention of America International. It is great to come back home to one of America's greatest cities and leading HBCUs, the historic Simmons College of Kentucky. The NBCA, under the leadership of President Samuel Tobert, has chosen Simmons as its official school and is relocating its headquarters from Dallas, Texas to Louisville. The NBCA has purchased a retreat center in Valley Station for its 3.5 million members and will hold this year's annual session in Louisville September 10th through the 15th, with its opening session being the Simmons College Angela Project. As a result of this partnership, the NBCA has also agreed to hold an annual church growth conference in Louisville with Simmons College of Kentucky as the host school. Make plans now for November 9th, 10th, and 11th. It's the NBCA Annual Church Health 
conference. Because when you're healthy, you'll grow. This year's focus is reaching millennials, developing the intergenerational church. Before closing, we'd like to introduce a new initiative for the pastors and churches of the General Association. It's the Simmons Full Court Press, with press standing for pastors recruiting excellent Simmons students. For every two full-time students that you send to Simmons, you will receive a Simmons scholarship named in your honor, which can go to anyone you choose. In addition, we've also put together a list of benefits you'll receive for helping us in this endeavor, which includes season basketball tickets, a free membership to our fitness facility for the pastor and his spouse, monthly podcast on church growth, and so much more. Support Simmons College of Kentucky by getting behind the Simmons Full Court Press. As we close, we'd like to show how your support of the nation's 107th HBCU is literally changing the lives of our students. We have asked one of the students of this graduating class to share words and to share comments with you today. A young man who is a father, a young man who benefited from resources in our community, for example, the Family Scholar House, in parenting his children, a young man who is a servant of the Lord and a great student of Simmons. Would you welcome at this time our student speaker today, Brother Channing Banks, graduate Simmons. Discovering I had been uh, chosen in this capacity, I was humbled as my inner defender and critic wrestled over the rationale, my inner guide spoke to me as Uncle Mordecai to Esther saying, maybe you have been chosen for such a time as this to share your story. So here it goes. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine, salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine, hanging pic, wait, that one's taken, sorry. But maybe maybe some young man needs to know that you can leave the street life and you can make it. Or maybe there is some single parent out there that is struggling to do the best to raise their child. Or you've had a financial windfall. Or you may have fallen on homeless times. Or you, you may... You may be struggling uh, with a secret uh, uh, addiction or, or depression, or you may have lost the love of your life, or you may have lost a loved one to a, a terminal illness or, or gunned down in the street, or you may be from out of town and just gotten homesick, but if I can make it through all these circumstances in a four-year span, then so can you. Or maybe you failed along the way and you feel like it's impossible and you've contemplated quitting. Well, impossible is not a fact, it is an opinion. Failure is not a person, it is an event. I too contemplated quitting one time when they took the pictures down in the heritage room. I was inconsolable for days until I realized they were just painting the room. (laughs) But it is those pictures that are the essence and the heart and soul of our university. And looking at those pictures, I can't help but to know that I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Power shows in dripping gold inside my DNA. So on this day, be encouraged, be enlightened, but be empowered and claim our day, May the 21st, 2017, as other significant events on this day. Whether it is Lewis and Clark beginning their journey led by a free slave by the name of York, or Amelia Earhart completing her trip around the world, or Muhammad Ali defending, uh, defeating Henry Cooper for the heavyweight title, or Seattle Slu winning the Kentucky Derby. Maybe this is the beginning of your journey. Maybe nobody thought that you would accomplish this feat, or maybe this is your day to shake up the world. But since this is also my day, I had to make the announcement that if anybody were to write my life story for whatever reason, 
that may be. Let them know that Jesus is the best thing that happened to me. Now, as I take my seat, if it had not been for my church family at the Elam Baptist Church, the Louisville Family Scholar House, and this great university, I don't know where my family would be. So I leave you with a charge and a question as I take my seat. The first is a charge from our own Reverend Dr. Cosby, and that is, if our ancestors can accomplish all of this through a crack, what more can we do through an open door? So Simmons Nation, rise up! Simmons Nation, rise up! One more time for the Holy Ghost. Simmons Nation, rise up! Now answer this question for me. Can 